When Donald Trump walked on stage to deliver his victory speech, he was surrounded by his family. From parents-in-law, to children and their spouses, and even grandchildren, the Trump clan was present in full force to celebrate the patriarch's victory in the presidential election, staging a historic comeback to snatch back the White House. Now we all think our children are amazing. Everybody here thinks their children are amazing, but that's a good thing when you think they are. But Don, Eric, Ivanka, Tiffany, Baron, Laura, Jared, Kimberly, Michael, thank you all. What a help. What a great He is all about Donald Trump and his family, which is emerging as one of the strongest business and political dynasties in the United States of America. Donald Trump is the son of Fred Trump Sr. and Mary Ann McLeod. Fred, a successful entrepreneur and real estate developer, married Mary Ann, a Scottish immigrant, in 1936. Donald Trump was born in 1946 and had four siblings, Mary Ann, Elizabeth, Fred Jr., and Robert. Elizabeth is Donald Trump's only surviving sibling. Donald Trump has been married thrice. His first wife was Ivana, a Czechoslovakian-born model and socialite. They married in 1977 and divorced in the early 90s. Trump and Ivana have three children together, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. Ivana died in 2022 at the age of 73. Donald Trump married Marla Maples, a model and actor, in 1993. They have a daughter, Tiffany. Donald and Marla separated in 1997. Trump and current wife Melania first met in 1998 at a fashion week party. Melania, a model, married Trump in 2005. They have a son together. Baron. Trump's eldest child Don Jr. serves as an executive at the Trump Organization and one of his star campaigners. Don Jr. first married in 2005 and divorced around 13 years later. He has five children with Vanessa Hayden, daughters Kai and Chloe, and sons Donald, Tristan, and Spencer. Now, Don Jr. is engaged to former prosecutor and former Fox News host Kimberly and Guilfoyle. Now, back to business. Don Jr. spoke at the Republican National Convention where Trump was named the party's official presidential candidate. His comments on the assassination attempt on Donald Trump received loud cheers. They'd say you can't truly know how you'll respond in a moment of danger until you're actually confronted with it. So what was my father's instinct as his life was on the line? Not to cower, not to surrender, but to show for all the world to see that the next American president has the heart of a lion. That the next American president has the courage to put the American people first once again. And in that moment, my father didn't just show his character. He showed America's character. When he stood up with blood on his face and the flag at his back, the world saw a spirit that could never be broken. And that is the true spirit of America. Trump's second eldest child Ivanka was born in 1981. She was one of the main faces of Team Trump during his first presidential term, 
working as an advisor. Ivanka is married to Jared Kushner, and they have three children, daughter Arabella and sons Joseph and Theodore. Only if it got so bad that I had no... Trump's third eldest child also works as an executive at the Trump Organization. He is married to Lara Trump, and they have two children together, Luke and Carolina. Tiffany Trump Tiffany is Trump's only child from his marriage with Marla Maples. Tiffany studied at the University of Pennsylvania and Georgetown University Law Center. She campaigned for Trump during his 2020 presidential race. And the president of the United States. Tiffany is married to businessman Michael Boulis, and Donald Trump recently announced that they were expecting their first child. Baron is Trump's only son with third wife Melania. He was born in 2006 and is currently attending New York University Stern School of Business. Baron is the only Trump kid to have lived in the White House. Donald Trump has many children but one grandchild who dominated his 2024 election campaign is Kai Trump. The 17-year-old is the daughter of Trump's eldest son Don Jr. She is currently a junior at the Benjamin School in Palm Beach County, Florida, and plans to play golf at the University of Miami in 2025. She spoke at the Republican National Convention with her father Donald Jr. Hi everyone, my name is Kai Mazin Trump. I am the granddaughter of Donald Trump. I'm speaking today to share the side of my grandpa that people don't often see. To me, he's just a normal grandpa. He gives us candy and soda when our parents aren't looking. <laughs> he always wants to know how we're doing in school. When I made the high honor roll, he printed it out to show his friends how proud he was of me. I know. He calls me during the middle of the school day to ask how my golf game is going and tells me all about his. <laughs> but then I have to remind him that I'm in school and I'll have to call him back later. <laughs> when we play golf together, if I'm not on his team, he'll try to get inside of my head. <laughs> yeah, I know. And he's always surprised that I don't let him get to me. But I have to remind him, I'm a Trump too. <laughs> Even when he's going through all these court cases, he always asks me how I'm doing. He always encourages me to push myself to be the most successful person I can be. Obviously, he sets the bar pretty high, but who knows, maybe one day I'll catch him. On Saturday, I was shocked when I heard that he has been shot, and I just wanted to know if he was okay. It was heartbreaking that someone would do that to another person. A lot of people have put my grandpa through hell, and he's still standing. Grandpa, you are such an inspiration, and I love you. The media makes my grandpa seem like a different person, but I know him for who he is. He's very caring and loving. He truly wants the best for this country, and he will fight every single day to make America great again. Thank you very much. Kai also went viral after Trump's election victory, but for a different reason. After Trump's victory speech, Kai posted a family photograph. It even included Tesla and SpaceX chief Elon Musk, but had one glaring omission. 
Trump's wife Melania was missing in the photograph, sparking fresh conspiracy theories. And he knows how to get things done. Melania was largely absent from Trump's re-election campaign. She only made appearances at big events like the RNC or Trump's victory party. However, during the speech, Trump showered praises on her and spoke about the importance of family. I want to also thank my beautiful wife, Melania, First Lady. Who has the number one best-selling book in the country. Can you believe that? Oh, no, she's done a great job, works very hard, works very hard to help people. So I just want to thank her. But I want to thank my whole family, my amazing children, and they are amazing children. Now, we all think our children are amazing. Everybody here thinks their children are amazing, but that's a good thing when you think they are. But Don, Eric, Ivanka, Tiffany, Baron, Laura, Jared, Kimberly, Michael, thank you all. What a help. My father-in-law, Victor, is tremendous, and we miss very much Melania's mother, Amalia. We miss Amalia, don't we, huh? She would be very happy right now, standing on this stage. She'd be so proud. She was a great woman, that one. Beautiful inside and out. She was a great woman. After his latest victory, there were rumors that the father-in-law of Trump's daughter Tiffany would be appointed as the point man for Lebanon amid the Israel-Hezbollah war. However, Lebanese-American businessman Mars Saad Boulis has denied these rumors. During his first term, Trump gave prominent government roles to family members like daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared. It remains to be seen what kind of roles other members of the Trump clan will play this time around.